Many a time you get questions on boats and streams. Okay. Now, in order to attempt these questions, there are certain basic concepts or constructs that you should understand. Okay. So basically, in a boat and a stream, what happens is that there's a river. Okay. And there's a boat which is floating on this river. Okay. Forgive me if this is not a good art. Right. So the first question that you need to understand is downstream movement and upstream movement. Now normally what happens is that the boat is going to be moving in one direction. It could be either moving in this direction or it could be moving in this direction. And the flow of the river also is going to be there in either of these directions. Right? When the direction of the river and the boat is the same as is being depicted through these two arrows and these two arrows, okay, they are known as downstream movement. Same direction. On the contrary, if the direction of the river is like this, vis-a-vis -vis direction of the boat, okay, or the river is moving like this and the boat is moving like this, then it is known as upstream movement. Opposite direction. Okay. Now, in that case, if both of them are moving in the same direction, you know, what will be the speed? What will be the speed of the movement? The speed of the movement is going to be the speed of the boat plus the speed of the river. Right? Whereas, if they are moving in opposite direction, the speed of the movement of the boat will be equal to what? This will be equal to the speed of boat minus speed of river. I have taken the speed of boat first instead of taking the speed of river because it is assumed that the boat has to move faster than the river. Right? And this is taken because otherwise the boat will not go back. Imagine if the river is pushing the boat in this direction and the speed of the boat is less than the speed of the river then the river can never go back to the shores. Right? Also, you can find out the speed of boat, which I'm referring to as SB, as half the sum of downstream movement plus upstream movement. And the speed of river as half the downstream speed minus upstream speed. I've written this as movement or you can take it as speed also. Right? If you take a sum of these two, what was the downstream movement or the downstream speed? SB plus SR. Right? Plus SB minus SR. This knocks off this, so you get 2SB. 2SB into 1.5, which is this this goes this is equal to the speed of the boat. That's why we say that the speed of the boat is equal to half downstream speed plus upstream speed. Similarly, speed of the river is equal to half downstream speed minus the upstream speed. Right? So let's say someone tells you that the downstream speed is equal to 20 kilometers, upstream speed is equal to 15 kilometers, find speed of the boat and speed of the river. Speed of the boat will be half downstream plus upstream 35 by 2 or 17 1 by 2. Speed of the river is equal to what? Half 
20 minus 15 5 by 2 or 2 1 by 2 right so that's the way you get to these answers these concepts are very important if you know them then it becomes very easier for you to solve the questions with that I would like to end up this video this video is provided to you by iedubook.com providing free education to the school students to chartered accountants to MBAs and many more to come right if you like this video please hit the like button you can also share this with your friends okay you can subscribe to our channel or our website right have a happy learning and have a nice life ahead